Vinny Stamps, thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. Um, we're going to keep with the same theme. We're going to be doing wintry scenes and we're going to be masking off with um, um, the negative and the positive side. So all I've done is just cut a hole with the hole cutter just to create a mask um, to create um, some nice cards. Something a little bit different just to um, hopefully keep you inspired. So I'm going to start with the circle. So I'm going to start with Tambour Glass because that's a lighter colour. So bob that down in the centre and then I'm just going to work my way around the edge. Just take your time, there's no rush. This is our first layer of colour we're going to bring in. After this we're going to bring in the salty ocean. Of course if you haven't got these colours don't worry about it. You can always use the colours that you've got. These are just water-based inks, so if you just bear that in mind. So you can use your Distress inks if you want. It'll give you a slightly different effect because oxides, as you know, are very chalky. So it's just a different effect. But it's not saying that the inks will give you a, a nice effect all the same. Okay, pop the lid on that one and let's bring in Salty Ocean. This is a real bright blue, this one. might actually bring in a bit of a darker colour again over the top of this. I hope you're enjoying the masked uh, techniques but as I said before I just wanted to bring you something a little bit different. I'll have to think about something different again next week. try and try and keep us all inspired um, okay so I'm going to use the twilight now but you know often when you find a new technique um, you work with it for a while and it does evolve it it changes doesn't it um, and that's what's so great about crafting you know, it's always changing. You're always inspired by the next thing. I just get bored very quickly. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, I like to move on. Okay, so we've got a little bit of depth going on there now. So let's just take that away and now 
work on the centre. I'm just amazed at how I am keeping my cards relatively clean. Maybe I've spoken too soon, I don't know, but I always put fingerprints on white card, but I'm doing very well at the moment. Okay, so I'm going back to tumbled glass. And I'm just going to take this around the edge. Okay, right, so let's take a piece of paper and let's pop some hills in. Okay. And now we'll create a little mountain in the background there. I think that should be enough really. Okay, so I'll take that off now. And we're going to stamp our tree. Right. So we're going to ink up, take off, and then I'm going to bob that down about there. And that's that's a nice blue actually. That works that works very well and I'm going to just repeat that so ink up sorry need to do that again ink up take off there we go that's okay and then I'm going to ink up in twilight And I'm going to place that down. Give that a good press. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the positive, pop that on, and then we're going to work our way around the edge using some of our other stamps. This is our fir cone branch. So I'm going to ink up in the twilight. And I'm going to work my way around the edge. Oops.
Okay. Maybe I'll just do a little one down there just to balance that out. Okay, so I'm going to use my uh, mini holly now. Okay, I'm going to ink up the holly now in Warm Breeze. And I'm going to just bob a few of those about as well. trying to hold it so that I'm not covering it while I'm stamping it so you can see what I'm doing but it's quite difficult um, so just bear with me okay and there we go okay so I'm going to use our little star stamp now Stars, I think, are just a great filler. So just bob a few of those about. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to our little mini fur cone now and ink up in twilight. And I'm just going to pop this down in the corner, just two little fur cones. And then I'm going to ground those. So just take your paper over the very edge and then using a smoothie. And I'm using the Versifying Claire Twilight. I'm just going to ground those fair cones on the edge. I just think it gives a nice little um, finishing touch really. Okay, so I think we're almost there. We'll have a little bit of glitter I think. Okay, I'm going to just dot in and around with my glue pen now. Okay, and then a little bit round by the tree. And 
and we shall use our blue green glitter and I'm going to just sprinkle that straight over the top. And it's even stuck to some of the other areas as well, which looks fabulous. Because the glitter is so fine, we've got a coarse glitter and a fine glitter there. I don't know whether you can see that under the camera. It's great, isn't it? So the two together work so nicely. So I hope you can see the green and the blue on that. Just a, a different way of working again so I hope you enjoyed it thanks for all your comments guys they really inspire me to keep on going so thank you for that you take care bye for now <laughs>